Welcome back, Commanders. I'm Red Rupee, and this is our Iron Harvest Tip of the Week. This week, we are looking at your maneuvers in the first couple minutes of the match, your opening cap orders. We're going to look over basic capping concepts, and then I'll show you some direct examples of opening caps on commonly played maps. And as always, if there's a topic or aspect of Iron Harvest you're curious about, leave a comment below, and I'll make a point to get to it on an upcoming Tip of the Week. Now, cap orders are a thing that can be highly up for debate. But what I'm going to suggest here are basic concepts and safe cap orders for you to play until you're comfortable enough with the game and maps to get more adventurous. Especially if you're a somewhat newer player, I do not suggest going super aggressive on the map for resource caches and fighting for contested points. Keep your opening move simple. Your priorities at the beginning of the game are to get your natural resource points, equip your engineers with combat weaponry, usually grenades, and then contest some oil and iron caches where possible while continuing to pump out infantry. Making sure you have all your points early not only guarantees income, but gives you lots of vision on your side of the map, limiting early surprise flanks and invades from your enemy. You want to prioritize iron in the early stages of the game. More iron allows for more units and reinforcements. And the first stage of this game is very infantry heavy, so you'll need the iron to keep building and supporting that army. Prioritize getting your mines first and then your oil pumps, and you'll usually send your engineers to pick up your grenade between those two caps. You can follow this basic principle on any map really, be it 1 on 1, 2 on 2, or 3 on 3. I'll also note that your first 60 oil should always go into your safest iron mine upgrade, but we'll go into a whole video on when to upgrade resource points later on. Now I know a lot of you like getting super aggressive and trying to steal resource caches or weaponry from your opponent's side of the map, and I'm not going to tell you you can't do that. But, if you spend all that time running across the map, get in a fight with the enemy and have to fall back, think of all the time you've wasted that you could have just gotten your points under your control and had some steady income. Until you know how to take engagements and control your units efficiently, just stick to your side of the map until you get your third and fourth squads out so you can make a concerted push into enemy territory. Now, what to do if you're trying to cap and you get invaded yourself? Well, first of all, you should be able to see this coming. Use your mini-map. As you start your caps, look at the opponent's side of the map. Are there nodes blinking and indicating they're capping themselves? If none or only one are, you should be suspicious. Usually this means your opponent is hunting fast resource caches, but if you're worried about grenade theft, you can always pull your NGs to go grab your grenades before finishing the cap. This is still safe, secures your weaponry, and allows you to go back to continue your cap pretty quickly. If they come and harass your capping squads, don't panic. At this stage, they only have two squads, just like you. Grab a good position behind some cover and stall out, and do not continue to cap under direct fire. Let your other squad finish their caps and then go pull them to help the squad under fire. If your opponent is wasting time on your side of the map and you force their retreat, then you've capped points, they've wasted their own time, and now they're down a squad on the field for you to take advantage of. Now, let's take a look at some actual cap orders following these ideas on our available maps. First, we'll take a look at deserted tracks. Both the iron mines are directly in front of your base. You'll want to send the engineer to the rear iron mine and your infantry to the forward iron mine initially. From there, you can have your engineer move up and take the grenade and then move on to the oil, while your infantry move up to take the forward oil cache, and if they come under fire, they just fall back simply and capture the second oil pump. From there, your third infantry squad should be available, and you can choose to either head into the middle to contest the iron caches there, or move into your opponent's side of the map, most commonly contesting this oil pump here. Next up, we have Border River. Your engineer is going to go to the forward iron and your infantry to the rear. Again, keep an eye on the mini-map, because oftentimes engineers will be looking to put wire on the bridge or steal your grenade. Next, your infantry can go check the caches, and if there's anyone there, you can just back off and go to the oil pump while your engineers grab the grenades. From there, those grenadiers will grab the last oil pump, and once your third infantry squad hits, you can charge up the middle to pressure, or if the island is still open, push onto the island and take the contested points. And last up, we have oil field. We're going to follow the same concept. The engineers are going to go to the lower iron. Your infantry are moving to the forward iron. From there, your engineers are going to grab a grenade, and your infantry are going to move to the closest caches. If you can get them without any trouble, no problem. Otherwise, pull them back, grab your oil pumps, and then wait for that third squad again to push out into the contested points in the middle of the map. Keep in mind this basic cap can apply to team games as well. Just prioritize your iron, then oil pumps, and easier to acquire caches. Then once you have your first purchase squads on the field and your engineer is equipped with weapons, you can start causing some trouble. That wraps us up for this week, and we'll see you in a week for the next video. And of course, if you enjoyed, or I hope at least found some useful information, like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be among the first to know when new videos arrive.